the majority of AI and machine learning models never make it into production and therefore don't produce value for the organization. The lack of governance and defined processes can be to blame. In this demo, we'll take a look at how SaaS Bio can be used to deploy models into Snowpark container services to create a production scoring service. For the use case, a financial institution seeks to minimize portfolio risk and become more agile in responding to rapidly changing market conditions. Let's see how they can modernize their loan approval process. Our training data in Snowflake contains loan performance information about our past and current customers. Our bad label indicates whether or not a customer has ever been delinquent or defaulted on a loan. The rest of the inputs will be used as features for our model training. We've pre-built a machine learning pipeline using SAS's automated machine learning. To do so, click add a new pipeline and select automatically generate the pipeline. You'll set an automation time limit that SAS will use to tune your model. Click advanced settings to force include or consider the models that you want in this exercise. You also have the ability to manually build your own pipeline if you wish. The yellow nodes denote pre-processing nodes and our purple nodes are our supervised learning. Now, although this pipeline was automatically generated, we still have the ability to further tune these models to our liking. From our pipeline, we can choose which model we'd like to move forward with. Now, although the Ensemble model was our champion based on the lowest multi-class log loss, we've chosen to go forward with the gradient boosting model because Ensemble models are somewhat hard to interpret. If we scroll down towards the bottom of the screen, we can see the score code that was generated, which will be containerized and deployed into Snowpark containers. Now let's take a look at our current decisioning process. We have a number of business rules that are either accepting, rejecting, or marking a loan application as further approval needed. For example, our high ratio rule says that if a loan applicant has more than one delinquency and their credit limit age is less than 178 months, then it's assigned as rejected. Let's see how we can further strengthen these business rules by incorporating our gradient boosting model. We'll save our decision, validate, and once validated, we can publish our decisioning logic as a container into our Snowflake registry. We'll tag it as prod and name it loan risk. Once successfully published, we can use SnowSight to build our scoring service using this model. Now let's create our scoring service. In the staging area, I put my risk decisioning service.yaml file, which is the configuration file for the service that I'll then create. We can see we're creating a service with a minimum of one instance and a max of three. I can then check the status of my service to see when the containers will be ready. In the pending state, now you can see that one container is running and the other two are in a ready state. I'll check the service logs for my service. And if I expand this out, you can see that the SAS decision container runtime, this is the name of the container service used to publish the SAS model decision into Snowpark containers. I'll then create a scoring function that points to the loan risk endpoint of my container. And I'll use the container to score a batch of customers that are currently in Snowflake, my home equity to score table. I then get the results back and you can see the event probability, which is the probability that a loan applicant will default on their loan or not, along with the other output variables from my model. With our model deployed as a service, we can also create a front end for our application and score transactions in real time. That was a high-level overview of using SAS Bio to deploy decisioning logic into Snowflake using Snowpark Container Services to create a scalable, governed scoring solution. Although our use case focused on loan risk, this process is applicable to a variety of use cases across industries. Please leave a comment below as we'd love to hear your feedback. Thanks for watching.